Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you very much for joining me during Envelope Punchboard Week. Um, this is the week-long video fest of seven projects going out on YouTube and a further five projects available on video via my blog. And today we are making what I'm calling a tab tie box. So it's a little box that, that you can see the little tabs up at the top and I've tied them. So this is a Christmassy one done in Seasons of Style. But I'm going to make the next one using one of the foil finishes from the winter frost paper. I'm not sure if you're seeing that very well, but it's got this beautiful foil finish. It's only single sided, but it's absolutely fine because we're not showing both sides of the cardstock um, on this particular project. So this uses a piece of six by six card paper, uh, which means you can get four from your prod from your sheet of design series paper. So six by six is 15 by 15 centimeters. All you need, envelope punch board tool. That's all you need. I'm not going to give you the metric measurements other than the size of the paper because we're going to work with the numbers along the top. They are imperials, but it's not a problem. They're easier to see than the metrics that are at the bottom. So you're just looking for the big numbers that I'm going to talk about. So, very, very simple. Line it up so you've got your number two, your edge of your cardstock measures against the number two. Punch and score down and slide it to the number four. Punch and score down. Turn it round and do exactly the same. The two and score and four and score and exactly the same. Two and four and then finally do it for a last time two and four. So that's all of the scoring done. Move these little bits out of the way and then I want to round the corners and I'm going to turn it around just so I can see that I'm lining it up. So all of these points, pull them around and punch and it just beautifully rounds the corners. So there we go, move that little bit fold the score lines that I can't particularly see very well because I chose stripy paper. Let me just do this temporarily the wrong way. There we go. So you fold up on all of these score lines. I really chose the wrong paper, didn't I? <laughs> it's not a problem. Fold all of those. It's a beautiful paper though. I do love this one. so much easier when I did it on that paper. It's my spotlights are very very bright and they're reflecting off this beautiful foil so I can't really see all that well what I'm doing. Right, I need to pop the holes in because we're going to do a sort of a stitch kind of mechanism and I've got the tiny, this is a 3 8 of an inch circle punch which is from the itty bitty punch pack and I'm just going to, I suppose, sort of roughly line it up. It's not massively important because actually we're going to be stitching through and it's going to be about showcasing the paper and the tie rather than about showcasing holes. So that's those done. Need to do a little bit of trimming. So you've got these wider sections. It doesn't matter because it's exactly the same all the way round. So just cut down your score lines on both sides. And then the same on the opposite side. And then after that, you're going to stick those up. So it's easier if you turn it over and grab your snail and you're working in these little sections that have got that are on the diagonal. And then you just fold up and line up your edges. Now you'll notice that I didn't burnish the crease lines as I was working. That's a, there's a good reason for that and that's because I don't want this box to pull too tightly because it will lie flat. I mean if you didn't want to do a tab tie 
which is what I'm going to do. You could just fold it over and stick it down like that, but I want it to pull up because that to me is, is part of the decoration. So, in my Bermuda Bay, uh, one eighth of an inch taffeta ribbon, you set it up so you've got holes facing you. You come in at this angle, and then you're gonna come out, and you're going to go into the left, and pull it through the right, no, you're not. You're going to go over the top of the right, and then you're going to then you're going to pull it back through that side. So before I pull it together, you can you'll see the shape that I've created. Hopefully, you can see the shape. It's it's if I turned it that way, it's kind of a number two shape, and you just gently pull, and those on the left and the right they will fold down slightly. And these ones will pull over the top. Don't pull it too tightly because, like I say, you'll just completely squish it shut. And that wasn't the purpose of it. Gently pull, create a bow. Do not tangle yourself in the ribbon like I am currently doing. nice little bow on the top, trim off the edges just to make it a little bit neater and a little bit of stamping so I want to put this little decoration on the front so I've got some Whisper White cardstock, I've got the Petite Pairs um, stamp set and so you would stamp twice and I it, normally you would put Merry Christmas and a Happy Joyful Bright New Year I only wanted the Merry Christmas so I've got that already mounted on my block matching Bermuda Bay ink and then put out of the way I've got my word window punch now you're going to see that that is way too long for this so I'm going to offset it to one side I'm going to grab a post-it note because I want to make this shorter And the way to do that is I'm using the post-it note really just to hang on to the cardstock. Line it up and you can see I've trimmed off that bit that I don't need, leaving me with a smaller little word window, a mini window. Is it a mini window? I'm not sure. Tiny little, oh I nearly threw that away, tiny scrap of Bermuda Bay cardstock and my, I've put it down somewhere, Where have, what have I done with that? Here it is, my petite curly label punch, pop that out, grab some dimensionals, I'm going to nick off dimensional edges to go behind the sentiment, one on the back there, whoops, a regular one on the back of that, layer it up, And I've got my rhinestone crystals. Here. Little one up there. Just to finish it off. And then that popped on there. And that is my little tab tie box, which is really quite sweet. And it's a good size. What's the finished? Ooh, two and a quarter by two and a quarter by one and a half. That's a pretty good size. Um, but it only uses a six by six piece of paper. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you're enjoying the projects. And don't forget that there are um, lots on my blog and lots on YouTube. Twelve in total. So thank you very much for joining me.